in Paragon um, that I bought and now selling. Uh, I didn't actually buy that to myself. Um, and sometimes it's just to, you know, I've never had a GM, so I really wanted to see what they were like, how they sort of came up once they were prepped. They've got this uh, GN Now thing, which basically means um, the edges are slightly done for you, uh, with a bit of knocking, oiled, facing put on. Um, but like any bat, you know, never rely on this sort of stuff and go out into the nets and start going ballistic on any bat. Most times you'll need to give it a little bit more. Uh, if you see any seam marks, you give it a little bit more. Uh, and you don't uh, hit too hard until the surface has reached its full performance level, which means it's, it's hard enough to withstand uh, the impact without denting at all. Uh, this particular bat, let's have a look at the weight. I think it was 2107. Yeah, 2108, but I've got the tag and that on it. Uh, 2107. It, the edge itself is, uh, I think, 32 mils and 62 or 63 on that spine, and that spine extends from the toe all the way up really high, all the way up back into the handle. So it's really high here at the top of the handle and through to the handle. It's not really an, an oval shaped handle, it's a semi-oval, verging on round, um, but it's a nice and thick handle here with this new grip that they've put out for this season. Uh, this bat replaces the DN Icon, so I hear in other reviews. Um, I think it's a nice shape for a, an opener or a top order player. Um, this long even edge basically means that you're not going to have any sort of particular area where the performance is concentrated, it just sort of extends from about here all the way up to here, which is really nice if you're an opener. So you can play your drives on your front foot and anything short that comes at you, you've got plenty of wood to put it away um, through the gaps. <coughs> the English bats have toe tech um, and facing already applied. Um, <laughs> they put the facing underneath the stickers, which I find really uh, bizarre, but that's what they do. <coughs> stickers themselves are nice. They've got this uh, embossing going on and silver in there. You can see that there. So the 909 series is the third from the top. It's the first in the grade one, um, and it's the second from the bottom in the five-star bats. Um, 808 being uh, select grade 2, 909 being grade 1, and then you go up into your originals and your original pluses. Now, it doesn't really matter as far as what grade, because all the icons are cut with CNC, so they're all the same shape. Um, and the DXM uh, cutting gear uh, that they've got is really, really fancy, it's got different cutting blades to do the, the concaving and different ones to do the, the toes. It's um, really different to the other CNC's you see which sort of go in straight lines. Um, and then it's got a pineapple for digging out these things. So have a look online for videos on that. I might post one in the future. Um, yeah, overall really impressed with uh, this bat. Um, firm pressing. Uh, which means you only have to do a little bit more, maybe another hour of knocking, uh, before you can start playing her in. Uh, let's have a listen to how she sounds. So you can see it's, it's just sort of even from there all the way up to there. It's still got life in it up top. As much as it's really going here, so, really good bat. Uh, and that's because, as far as concaving goes, what have you got? One or two mils taken out. Nothing sort of special. I mean, we'd all love a full bat these days, but the reason they take, they do concaving like that is to balance the bat. Um, so, yeah, it's a nice shape. And, uh, yeah, if you want this particular bat, PM me. Um, 
and I'll help you out. I'll buy bats just to review. Um, sometimes it's just the thrill of buying a bat. So yeah, thanks very much everyone.